Okay, uh, we're here with Ted from uh, Super Boats, uh, especially the SA350, all new for 2013. Let's have a look through. All right, let's uh, let's walk. Let's start at the back here. Yeah, absolutely. This is the uh, the new uh, oversized surf swim platform. Yeah. And you'll notice that it's uh, smooth underneath, so you don't uh, get any drag. Yeah. And it doesn't change the uh, the shape of the wake. Yeah. If you look at a lot of the competitors, they have a, a coarse bottom that mm -hmm. uh, actually changes and uh, restricts the boat. Yeah. So it drags it back. Um, you've got these storage boxes at the back. Uh, these nice convenient <laughs> seats here with the uh, drink cup holders. Yeah. Uh, we equipped it with the uh, remote for the stereo. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you've got the walkthrough, so you're not stepping on your interior. Yeah. Um, one of the really nice new features on this boat is the, the uh, fiberglass liner with the snap-in carpet. That's the first for Supra. Let's um, So we look. can uh, just step in and, yeah. and have a look. Okay, starting with this tower, this is uh, the new Pro Edge tower. Yep. And uh, it comes equipped standard with four swivel speakers. Yep. It's uh, one of the only ones in the industry. So you can actually tilt that if you want a little more sound in the boat. Uh huh. Or if you want to blast a guy that's surfing back there, <laughs> exactly. you can hit them hard. Give it to him. Um, it's a real rigid tower, very, very strong. It's a Roswell tower. Okay. Um, and it's uh, one of the nice features on this tower is you can, um, you can if you have a bridge that you have to get under, yeah. you can easily, well, I'll show you the whole thing. You have to collapse right. this uh, bimini top. You just push that back like this. Okay. So you can do this, one person can do this by themselves. You just yep. unlatch it. Okay. And this one here is unlatched. So we just drop this down. Yeah. And you can see that it's pretty easy. I don't want to hit the side of the boat there with the board. That'll just touch it, but you'll see that there's a bridge block right here. It's called a bridge block. Yeah. So that stops it from going all the way down. So if you got to get under a bridge, you can still operate the boat at a low speed, obviously, get under the bridge, and then easily put the tower back up. Just like that. And just lock her back in. And if you did, for storage reasons, or if you had to get it in a um, garage, you can remove this bridge block, and the tower will actually go all the way down all right way inside down. the boat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you happen to put heavier speakers or more stuff on your tower, you can adjust. There's a, a tensioning uh, line in there that you can adjust uh, so it makes it very light. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So let's put this back out. Okay, this is the new uh, Supra touchscreen uh, vision dash. Mm -hmm. um, the main difference is uh, that it's touchscreen this year. Um, it's basically the same as last year's other than it's touchscreen and you have a few more options but this we're at the home screen here right now uh, gives you an overview of everything uh, from your ballast tanks your fuel temperature gauge battery oil um, it tells you where your smart plate is um, the depth of the water um, then moving on to uh, the next screen is a GPS screen this boat comes standard with a GPS mm -hmm. Um, it has the charts in it for all of Canada. Um, you can also get a chip in it for the U.S. or wherever you might be boating. Um, got the multimedia screen, so you can control your iPod, you can listen to the radio, you could have um, a video in there. There's a video playing right now. <laughs> you so you can actually hook a, a camera up to the to the tower yeah. and you can view it through here which is kind of cool so oh, if somebody has a nice yeah. wipeout you can replay it here but um, moving on down you can program up to 16 riders 
So I like to wake surf myself and I'm goofy footed so I ski off the back here and uh, I want the, the rear right ballast full and the center ballast full. So you can see here center ballast is 100% full, the right is 100%. I want the smart plate at 50%, which is halfway down. Mm -hmm. And then I just hit Ted Surf. And all the operator has to do is push this all the way down and it will go to 10.3 miles an hour. And the boat will be tilted this way, perfect for, for how I like it. Now say I'm up and um, this is a neat new feature on this boat and it's the only one in the industry that has it right now. It's a speed stick bump and I'm at 10.3 on last year's boat, I would have to reprogram if the guy said, I want to go a little bit quicker, mm -hmm. and, and you'd be fumbling around. It's, it's very hard to do on the fly. So now all I have to do, you'll see it's at 10.3 right now. If, if he says he wants to go a little bit quicker, you just bump that up, and it goes in okay. increments of 0.1 mile an hour. So it's a, it's a great, great feature. And then um, you can save it to my profile, which is very nice. Moving on. Uh, we'll go to the, the light screen. This controls all the lights in the boat, whether it's your navigation lights, storage lights. If you look in the glove box there, that would be considered a storage light in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see how I'm turning that on and off right there. Um, you've got mood lighting that is all the lighting around the floor and around those drink cup holders. You see that going on and off. There you go, a little bit of pimping happening. Yeah. Yeah, uh, docking lights, and then you have the tower light. And another neat feature on this boat is these LED lights, accent lighting. Mm -hmm. You see that? So at night it re looks really, really nice. Another nice feature on this boat, it's an option, but uh, we have it on this boat, is underwater LED lights. So the whole back of the boat glows blue. <laughs> oh, nice. And you can also yeah. strobe it if you want. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, you're really roughing it on this boat, as you can see. <laughs> Holy moly. So we can shut all that stuff off. And everything that we control on this screen, we mm -hmm. can control with these buttons. So mm -hmm. if for some reason this gets broken, you can override everything right Still here. So your weekend's not here. over if, yeah, yeah. if that goes down, which um, it's, it's a very reliable unit. But uh, this screen just gives you an overview of, of the ballast tanks and where they're at. And we did have it set up for a goofy footed uh, surfer. So you've got the center tank full 100% and the right rear tank 100% full. So. What is the uh, ballast capacity on, on this boat? This is set up for 2,200 pounds. 2,200 pounds. Yeah. Um, now, then one of the really neat features on this boat is this seat that I'm in right now. And it's sort of like a racing style seat, but um, it's got, the, it's a drop down bolster. Yeah. So if you're docking and you want to get up really quick, you can just slam that up and, and you can see over the, the windshield. But it, it comes standard with, I'm just going to push the button there, a heater in it. So if you're a little bit chilled, you can turn your heat on. Just, just like that. Okay. Um, I like to sit kind of low on the boat so we can control the height electronically. It does have it all, doesn't it? It sure does. And then we also have a heater in the boat. There's actually two of them right here. Oh, yeah. So when you get out of the water and you're kind of chilled, it's 8 o'clock at night, you got your towel around, you can you can throw one of those heaters up underneath your towel and you're nice and toasty warm. And one of the other really neat features on this boat is we can, we can actually program for three drivers. I like uh, the, the seat, like I said, low, so seat height is set at 39, but I can, I can drop that even lower if I want and just hit save. Now I can change the background color of the screen so we can go from, uh, it's on orange right now, we'll go to green to match the boat. And then we can change the texture as well, which is kind of cool. So let's go to that texture and just hit save. So that saves it to my profile. Now if I wanted some, some lights, 
on, like say I like to have the docking lights on or the uh, underwater lights on, let's turn that on. And then I can just save that to my profile. So I'm preset A and you can uh, you can have yeah, two other yeah, operators. Very quickly convenient. Yeah. You just jump from one driver to another. Yeah. So what else do we have here? That was the driver presets. That's that's the main yeah, yeah. the main difference uh, from last year's boat. And uh, it's like, can we have a look at the business end there? The horsepower Absolutely. Wise. We're going to look at the, the 350 uh, Inmar, 3, 350 horse Inmar, and it's yep. got the uh, surf approved engine in it. And there's that bad boy right there. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's got the surf approved um, uh, oil pan. Um, a lot of these boats spend three quarters of their life on a severe angle for mm -hmm. surfing. And what happens is they run themselves out of oil. So after three years of use, these engines are blown up, but uh, they've got a, a special system that um, that keeps the engine lubricated, even though it's on a on severe a angle. angle. It's yeah. got baffles in the oil pan. Um, it's it's the only one in the industry. They've developed, Supra has developed this engine with Inmar, uh -huh. and uh, it's exclusive to Supra. So it's a, it's a great feature to have for longevity of the boat. Fantastic. Well, Ted, thank you very much from uh, from Doc Time there. Thank okay. you very much. You're on thank Super you. Boats. All right.